friends and welcome back to But First Coffee where life begins after coffee. Today I'm going to share with you tips and tricks on how to make your eyes pop without doing a full on like eye makeup look. So these are just little tricks that will help your eyes look bigger and wider and more awake. It's perfect for things like Sunday morning when you have to go to brunch but you're like so exhausted from all the crazy partying you did. And by partying I mean watching Netflix and drinking wine by yourself. Or for Monday mornings before you've had your cup of coffee or after you've had your cup of coffee because let's be honest Mondays are hard and so are Tuesdays. Also Wednesdays and third all basically all the days but Saturday. So let's not waste any more time let's go ahead and jump into this tutorial. Okay so we are going to start with the eyes. I've already applied my foundation and I'm going to use the Unique Moonstruck Addiction Palette. There are two of these. There's number one which is a little bit more brown toned and then number two which is more like silver and cool tones. So from the Addiction Palette number one I'm going to grab this lightest color which is Elated and I'm going to brush this all over my entire eyelid. This is just going to brighten up this entire area, really open up my eye. And so from palette number two, I'm going to grab this dark color, which is cocky, and I'm gonna go just above my natural top crease and sort of blend it out. This is going to extend the area of my eye and make this area a little appear a little bit bigger. I like to use a matte shade for this because something with shimmer is going to reflect light. The colors in these two addiction palettes are so pigmented and so creamy. It makes doing this so much easier. So I just have a clean, fluffy brush here so I'm just gonna blend it out a little. Moving on to liner I'm going to use Unique's Precision Liner. This is their Moonstruck Precision Liner. This is in the color Perfect. It's a classic black matte. The first thing I'm going to do is tight line. If you don't know what tight line is, it is filling in sort of this space that's between your eye and sort of like the bottom of your lashes. Doing this accentuates the line of your lashes and helps to open up your eye. The easiest way for me to tight line is to kind of look up and just to draw the pencil in. It helps if you make like a really weird face. These Moodstruck Precision pencils are perfect for this for a couple of reasons. One, it's a coal eyeliner, so they're super creamy, which makes applying it really easily. But they're also smudge proof and waterproof, so it means it's gonna stay put and not like slosh around into other parts of your eye. And then with the same black liner, I'm also just going to lightly smudge this in to my top lash line. You don't wanna do too much because too much black eyeliner can actually just look too harsh. It can kind of close in your eye. But I'm just gonna use a little and smudge it along my top lash line. Alright, moving on to our bottom lash line, we're going to actually switch colors and use an opposite color. You're going to want to use a light colored eyeliner on your waterline, which is the area along your bottom lashes. I'm going to blend in with the whites of your eye and make your actual eyeball appear to be bigger, like there's more surface area to it, and really open up your eyes and make them look bigger. Alright, finishing up with shadow, I'm going to grab the color Blissful. This is from the Addiction Palette number two, and it is this beautiful shiny color right here, and I'm going to pop this into my inner tear ducts. It adds a little bit of highlight there and makes the area appear bigger. Mascara can make a huge difference in making your eyes pop. There's a reason that ladies love false lashes, but I have something just as good and in my opinion more comfortable and more easy. The Moodstruck 3D Fiber Lashes are one of Unique's best selling products. It can make your lashes appear up to 400 times longer and fuller. The other nice thing is these products also have antioxidants and vitamin C and E, so they're also conditioning and nourishing your lashes instead of just like drying them out. This is a two-step process. They have a transplant gel as well as the fibers. The transplant gel is basically just looks like a regular mascara. Well, the fibers looks like a mascara wand, but it's actually tiny little dry fibers. So the way that I like to do this is go one eye at a time. You're going to apply the transplant gel like a regular mascara, and then come immediately in with the fibers. And you brush these on just like regular mascara, but you'll find that the tiny little fibers will attach to your lashes lengthening them and adding volume. It's like lash magic, you guys. And then lastly, you wanna come back in with the transplant gel to cover up the fibers so that they're not falling off of your lashes all day long. It's going to seal them into place. Okay, so I'm just going to do the same thing to the other eye, and then I'm going to use just regular mascara on my bottom lashes. Bottom lashes is very important to making your eyes pop. It's all about just making this entire eye area 
look a little bit wider. All right, just for fun, let's finish this makeup look off with some lips. I'm using the Stiff Upper Lip Lip Stain from Unique. All right, finished. So here you can see the before and after, and you can see without doing a full done up makeup look, you can still really make your eyes pop. So I hope that you found these tips and tricks useful and helpful, and you can use them in your daily makeup routine. Also, if you're interested in knowing anything more about these unique beauty products that I used in this tutorial, then there is a link you can check out in my down bar. I did work together with Unique to bring this video to you, but I only work with brands that I really, really love, and these products are honestly outstanding. I've talked about the Unique Fiber Lashes before. I've loved the product for a long time. These new eyeshadow palettes are seriously my new favorite thing. They're pigmented, they're creamy, they're blendable. They're everything that you want in an eyeshadow. But that does it for today's video. Thank you so, so much for stopping by and watching. As always, I hope you guys are having a great day, and I will see you all in my next video.